color block or dawn which free shopify theme should you be using in your store let's find out Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, I want to welcome you and say hi. My name's Kerry. I'm the founder of Shirt School and I created this channel to bring you the best strategy, secrets, and hacks to grow your online t-shirt apparel or print on demand business. You're probably already aware that Shopify has transitioned fully over to online store 2.0, which was a complete overhaul of the Shopify system. They released brand new themes and also recently they released Shopify editions, which was this huge collection of new features, which I want to talk about more on the channel. But when they initially transitioned over to online stu store 2.0, they put out a few free themes, new free themes. I've talked about those on the channel and I've told you that one of my favorite themes is called Dawn, uh, which I've been using in my stores and I've been recommending to most of my students uh, to use that Dawn, Dawn theme. Well, a little while after that, they came out with a few more free themes and one of those is called Color Block. So I've been eager to review this theme on the channel and kind of put it up against the Dawn theme because according to Shopify, they say Color Block is a good one to choose for apparel brands. And as you know, I like to talk about apparel brands. It's what I've uh, built in my own businesses and what I help my students with. So today I wanna talk about Color Block. Is it better than Dawn? Is this the one you should be using if you have an apparel or a t-shirt or a print on demand business? So that's what we're gonna dive into today. So looking at the free Shopify themes page, what, what themes they have right now, you see Studio, Dawn, which I've talked about a lot, Sense, Refresh, Taste, Crave, Color Block, which we're also gonna talk about today, ride and then craft. So as I mentioned, a few of these came out initially and then they added more. And most of these are, uh, they're positioned for certain categories. So if you have a beauty brand, you know, you might want to go with the one that's really designed for beauty, like Sense. This one, you know, you see hardware and automotive, health and beauty, pet supplies. So these themes are designed for certain types of stores uh, to be better for each of those. So the two that we really focus on in clothing are Dawn and then this color block theme. So I want to break those down. So let's start with the color block theme. As we go just to their uh, page here that kind of shows us what color block is all about and explains it. You see some of the main features right here, confident and colorful design. So it's very colorful, ideal for large catalogs. So it's got this kind of menu system and it says it has an expanded menu navigation. So if you have a lot of products, if you have maybe a big apparel store, this might be a good one to go with. And then you see advanced customization options. So that's flexible design, customization settings to achieve your desired vision, yada, yada, you get the point. As we scroll down here, we see a little bit more right here. This, as I found, was actually just kind of standard throughout the themes. If we go over to Dawn theme, just to kind of compare and contrast, obviously you see some different pictures and everything here. The main things that it's gonna highlight, chic and minimalist design, media forward product page, so it has large media to help your customers see what the products look like. That's been a, a topic of conversation in our community. And then the advanced customization options is actually the same exact thing that it says on the color block theme. And then if we scroll down, this is the same as what we see on the color block theme. So even though it says features, they're kind of just copy and pasting the same text here. So right on these pages, you know, the biggest difference here is what that you're going to see just up front is you're going to see that the design is different. So like one is more colorful where one is more minimalistic and chic, they say. And then you're going to see that the color block ideal for large catalogs, whereas the Dawn theme might be, you know, more they're highlighting kind of the media forward product page where there's bigger pictures and more media, I guess you could say. And we'll talk more about that. The next thing I want to do is I want to look at their demo stores. So here we have the color block demo store. I'll actually go back over to the main page and then we have the Dawn uh, store. I'll go back over to the main page. Can I give you a free guide that will help you build your Shopify store in a matter of just a couple hours? We've put together a cheat sheet that has 13 steps that you need to go through before opening your Shopify to the public. It's extremely helpful and we've had thousands of people download it. And the best part is it's completely free. If you'd like to download that, that Shopify cheat sheet, just go over to shirtschool.com slash cheat sheet and get your copy completely free. 
Now, one of the things I think can be a little bit deceiving here when you're looking at these free themes, I've talked about this on the channel before, is that you know Shopify has professional designers that they're paying a lot of money to design really beautiful demo stores. And oftentimes it's hard for us as smaller Shopify sellers to make our stores look as good as these because you know the Shopify uh, store builders that they have, the pros, number one, they're really, really good at making these look good. But number two, they have really high end media like this, you know, really professional pictures on both of these. You'll see that the, the pictures are just really professionals, professional. And one of the big differences between a store that looks like junk and a store that looks really good is simply just higher quality photos, you know, a more professional logo and some of the color selections. So I think that's something to consider that, you know, even though these stores are beautiful here on the demo stores, you know, I wouldn't necessarily expect your store to look that beautiful unless you're really a pro designer. That's not to say that, you know, you can't make your store look awesome, but I just want you to keep that in mind that it's always a little bit deceiving to compare these pro stores. So if we look at these two stores, what's the difference? As you see color block, as they mentioned, it has these really vibrant colors uh, on it. And so that's the biggest difference you see like these pastel kind of colors, yellow and this kind of uh, blue and this pinkish kind of color uh, with just these really nice color blocking, obviously as the name says, you know, that's one of the things that is different. Over on the Dawn theme, it just looks more, I guess, modern and like it said, chic or, you know, minimalistic. Uh, you can see it's more, more kind of like high-end fashion maybe, you know, has that kind of look on here. So that's really the difference that I see right, right off the bat. Um, I do want to go over to the product pages because the product page is one of the most important uh, places um, in your entire store. It's where most people are going to land if you're running traffic like paid ads or even from social media. You always want to be sending people to your product page. And so I want to look at the difference between those two. So let's go over to maybe like sandals and click on one of these and look at how they differ. Now, these are the demo stores and we're going to dive into the actual editor here in just a moment. Um, but just looking at the demo stores, um, here's kind of the difference is that on the color block theme, you're going to see this drop down menu and you're going to see only an add to cart button. And you're going to see some more of that color blocking here with like kind of this light pastel -y looking color, right? If we go over to the Dawn theme, you're going to see these large photos, right? They really want to accentuate the, the for media forward aspect, as they mentioned on the first page. And you're going to see these little pills for selection as opposed to the drop down. And then you're also going to see dynamic checkout buttons, which means there's an add to cart button and a buy it now button. Whereas on the color block page, there's only the add to cart button. So on the surface here, they're going to look very different. You see that. And, and I'm sure that there are some differences, but what you're going to find inside the online store 2.0 editor, if you're editing Dawn, and then you're also editing color block is that there are so many uh, things you can customize. There are so many options in the new theme editor that you could probably make both of these themes look identical. Uh, because you can customize almost every aspect of these pages, right? If we just look at these differences here between this this page and the color block and this page in the dawn, well, if we change some some uh, fonts, if we change these to drop downs, if we remove the button, if we did some of these things, you know, and change some of the color options, we can make these look pretty much identical. So even though the demo stores look very different, in my experience, and I'll show you what I mean here in a minute, when you actually get into the editor you know, you, they're almost the same. These, these themes are almost the, th the same as far as the options you have, you can make them look identical. Now, what I would say is if you're wanting to start with a nice base template, either one of these will give you a really good starting point, right? The, the goal when you're building your store is not to make one theme look like the other, it's to make a really beautiful store. So if you're wanting just kind of a palette, a base to work with, you know, judging these two by just their look on the demo stores might be a good idea in that case. But if you're really wanting to customize your store, it almost doesn't matter which one you go with. They both have very similar options and there's very few differences that I was able to find. So let's jump into the theme editor inside Shopify so I can kind of try to point out some differences. So this one that you see right here, it's a test store. I've got the Enneagram Life Store. This is the color block, block theme. I've just installed it and this is kind of how it comes. 
uh, this is the home page. And then I've also got the Dawn theme pulled up. And again, this is kind of how the Dawn theme comes. So they come preset with certain fonts and certain layout, uh, just already built in, you know, this is how it comes, but all of this is customizable. The one thing I wanna point out, uh, I'm gonna start with the color block theme. One thing I wanna point out is the editor, they have been improving the editor. If you haven't been inside the theme editor lately, definitely go in there because there's lots of new features and lots of really cool things that you know you need to check out. But one of the cool things is this preview inspector, this little guy right here, you can activate that. What they've done is now you can click on these sections and these different elements inside here and it will take you directly to edit those, which I absolutely love. It makes the experience so much better. And both of these themes are gonna have that preview inspector option where you can just click right in you know, on the object on the page and it'll let you edit it. So that's the same. Now, as over here on the left side, as I've thumbed through the options, when we go to like theme settings right here, you see all these theme settings. If we do that over on Dawn, the theme settings seem to be the same. If we go to add section, you're gonna have the exact same options here, right here. If we look at these options, blog post, collage, et cetera, et cetera, you're gonna have the exact same options on both. If we click on add section, uh, comparing these two, you're gonna have the exact same options. So I was wondering if looking at both of these themes, if you had like different options, well, they're both about the same. Okay. So from that perspective, you're getting the exact same options pretty much in either, either theme. Um, so like the options aren't different. Now, what I would say is if we add a section, like let's say a featured collection here, boom, like that, it's going to preload these color block pastel colors you know, as opposed to over here, if we load in like a featured collection, it's gonna load the default, you know, branding for this Dawn theme. So again, you're gonna get that base palette to work with if that's something you want. Now, but what I found is if we click on any of these sections, so let's like click on this section right here, you're gonna see over here that we could pretty easily make this look similar to the Dawn theme. If we change the background here to white, right? And if we go to our theme settings and we click on typography and we change the font from Futura over to maybe the same font we're using on Dawn, like right here, which is Assistant, we could very easily and very quickly make these themes look very similar. So from that perspective, you're getting a nice palette, a nice template to start with, but everything is customizable inside online to store 2.0 like so much stuff is customizable so you're not going to have like a different experience per se here in the theme editor on either theme they're both very customizable let's go over to the product page and as we go over to the product page um this is the product page in color block and this is the product page in dawn again it's pretty much the exact same thing here that everything is very identical now they're going to come preloaded a little bit differently uh, your color block theme is going to come with these drop down menus where your dawn theme is going to come with these little pills but if we click on those pills and we change it over to a drop down what you're going to find is it you can make it look really similar so again like you can make these look identical if you want to it's the same thing with these dynamic checkout buttons if we click on these buy buttons and we want to remove the buy it now button we can uncheck that and we can do the same thing on the color block theme so there's really not a lot of difference here in that regard. These are very, very similar. Now, one of the things I thought was really interesting was if we go back to the uh, the default pages here, the advertising pages, you know, for the, each theme. One of the things that was really advertised on the Dawn theme is media forward product page. So large media to help your customers see what products look like, yada, yada. So if we start in Dawn and we look at our, um, our mockups here, right? We can click on it and we can like edit these mockups. So desktop layout stacked, desktop media size, size large, right? If we X out of this, this is kind of how it looks. Large media as, as advertised with the Dawn theme. Now, if we go over to our color block theme and we make sure our desktop layout is the same stacked and we have our desktop media size large, look at this, it looks the same. <laughs> like this one has a little bit of a border on it, which you might be able to remove, but they look pretty similar, right? There's not like a lot of difference. So even though Shopify is advertising Dawn as this like media forward, large photos, you know, all that kind of stuff, you can do the exact same thing in color block. So, you know, you judge for yourself. One of the differences I did find was in how kind of the menu looks. If we click on the color block menu, you're going to see it kind of pop up like this. And this test store that I have actually does have a lot of menus in it. So you see how kind of how they're laid out. If we go over to our 
dawn theme and we click on that it's going to look a little bit differently right they're kind of categorized differently now is one better than the other you know that's that's up to you to decide but the menus are a little bit different in these themes and how they're designed and as shopify mentioned the color block theme is designed for large catalogs one final thing i want to mention about the color block theme that i personally really like is that when you look at the color block theme when you either look at the test store or even looking at it you know in your own store I think the color block theme kind of looks like the old school free Shopify themes, like simple and minimal, has that vibe. And I'm personally a big fan of that. When I first started on Shopify and the first few years of having shirt school and helping others do this, I've recommended the simple and minimal themes, which was the old school Shopify themes. And I liked how those look. And instantly when I pulled up the color block theme, I definitely got those vibes from the font choices, from the layout to like how it's designed. It just has that old school Shopify theme feel. And so part of me wonders if Shopify brought this color block theme to online store 2.0 because so many people were like, where did my theme go? Because Shopify stopped, stopped supporting the old themes when they switched. And I personally, I've heard a lot of students in my communities uh, not be very happy with that. They want their old themes back. And so I love that color block has that old school theme. And so what I would say about that is if you're somebody who has still feels who still feels like you haven't been able to get used to the new themes, the dawn theme or whatever theme you have, you might want to try the color block theme because it definitely feels like old school Shopify and you might love that. So what are my final thoughts? I think both of these free themes are awesome and it really comes down to the theme editor, not so much the theme because you can customize just about everything in these uh, themes. The online store 2.0 editor, the new Shopify editor, it's just light years ahead of the old one and it has so many more options and almost every aspect of your website and your store is customizable and so either one of these themes are going to give you essentially the same options but they will give you different palettes to start with different templates to start with but i would say if you're somebody who like the old school version of shopify if you were a fan of the old free themes like the legacy themes you might want to give color block a try because you might end up liking it a whole lot as for me personally, I'm kind of on the fence. I've been using Dawn for a while now. I like Dawn, uh, but I may be trying out this color block theme more in my own stores and seeing how it performs. Maybe it's faster. Maybe it'll convert better. Those things are kind of yet to be seen. So I'll let you be the judge and decide for yourself which theme you want to use. If you enjoyed this video today, please take one second. Just hit the like button. It really goes a long way in helping us get this content out to more people. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos release. See you in the next one.